Hi everyone, welcome back to Brook Valley Life. Another review today, and today we're going to be looking at another Azito 18 volt PCX range, and it's going to be the Circular Saw. Hi, and welcome back to Brook Valley Life for one of our five minute reviews, and today, once again, it's red, it's a Zito, and this is the Zito 18 volt PCX range circular saw. So we'll have a quick look. Um, why would you go for one of these in the first place? Well, if you just need to cut some stuff quickly, some uh, two by four, even any, any timber at all, and you're using a circular saw and you don't want to plug it in and that, and oh, it gets too much. You can grab this, slob the battery on, and away you go. Again, hard plastic, red, nice colour, with a good handle. Rubber handle, with a rubber handle to hold on to as well. Um, again, with all the Azita stuff I've showed you so far, it's got the safety switch on both sides, so it doesn't matter if you're left or right-handed. And just feeling that, it feels the same for both hands. So again, pretty good piece of kit. Um, what else do we have? We've got the guard over the blade itself. Yeah, automatic guard. So as you put it down, move it along, the guard comes up and the blade starts going through. You have on the back, just here, ooh, just there, yeah, a clip, which you can undo. So you can change the depth at which you're cutting at. So if you only have to cut a small depth, yeah, you can adjust it till you've got the right depth and you won't go deeper and make a, a mess of whatever you're cutting it on. Or you can take it right up now that's fully safe and it's not going to cut through anything. All right, that's how I stow mine. Lock it up into place. Um, so, yeah, that'll sit on the floor or on in my um, cabinet and it won't damage the blade. I've not got a battery in there, so I'm not worried about it turning over and slicing my hand off. Um, it's also got an attachment for a vacuum to take up all the shavings. Um, pretty good. Uh, at the front, um, you've got a little, again, catch. <sighs> Sorry, just to adjust angle so if you need to cut an angle on your wood you can put it to any angle and as you can see it's all graduated there and you can cut an angle it also comes with an attachment that you can pass through here so yeah it goes through there and you can go along um squarely against the piece of timber um on it well, i haven't got that with me at the moment uh somewhere in the garage but uh yeah um what else what else this is again blades the blade that comes with it is okay yeah it's nothing to write home about so again i've gone and bought a aftermarket blade made hell of a lot of difference i must admit but i got a blade that's slightly too small doesn't matter still works fine in fact, I got a 155mm blade, and I should have got a 165mm blade. Um, yeah, we all make mistakes, so uh, I'll just have to get a new one. What a shame, eh? Um, it does tell you everything you need to know in there. Again, that will be depth of cut, speed, uh, blade diameter. It even tells you 165 or 6.5 inch. Uh, depth of cut, 54mm. At 90 degrees or 35 at 45 sorry this is all in millimeters for all our american friends um two and a half roughly two and a half or 25 millimeters is an inch so you can work that out um quite easily um again all you need is a battery this came in a kit um i got five tools together with two batteries um, you can buy these on their own uh, I'll put a, 
if I can find it, I'll put the price up somewhere around here. Five year guarantee, three year guarantee. Can't go wrong. So battery on, and again, you need to um, press your safety. And as you press your safety, you'll notice your LED comes on and it lights up where you're cutting. So just to show you this running, yep. So that is your 18 volt PCX cordless saw. So, good bit of kit.